Hello and welcome to Barclay Academy. I'm Dr Labham and it's my pleasure to be the principal of this wonderful school, which is part of the Future Academies group. Thank you for taking the time to log on tonight and spending even more of your time looking at a screen. I'm joined this evening by my senior team, the two vice principals, Miss O'Sullivan and Mrs Charwood, and the executive principal, Mrs Broderick. Under normal times, before the pandemic, we would have held a welcome event here at the school. But until we can do that again, I wanted to host an online welcome event just to give you a flavour of the incredible journey of rapid school improvement that we've been on. It's been heartening to see all the positive messages that our parents have been putting on social media, which recommend our school to you. It's great to know that parents have recognised and appreciated all the many improvements that have been made to the school in the last two years since it became an academy. I'm very proud of how the team at Barclay Academy has risen to the challenge of dealing with the lockdowns and the teaching online lessons. Again, the feedback from our parents has been excellent and demonstrates the great strides that we have made. People might say that Barclay Academy is very strict when it comes to behaviour and school uniform. I would say that we operate a very warm and supportive environment while at the same time ensuring that we have high standards so that all our students can learn. I want your children to come to a happy and caring school where they are given as many educational and enrichment opportunities as possible so that they can all succeed and thrive. I'm very proud of the fact that Barclay Academy holds the Gold Award for Sport. So if you love your sport, then this is the place for you too. My vision is to make Barclay Academy a truly outstanding school. And we want every student who comes here to be given the excellent education that will give them the freedom to choose what they want to do in the future. I'm fiercely ambitious for Barclay Academy as we transform it into a beacon of excellence. I want every child to receive a top education that will be as good as or better than any private school in the country. We now have four members of staff with doctorates, so we have top subject experts at our school. And I'm looking forward to you joining us on our exciting journey. So now each of my senior team is going to go through a different aspect of school life, and then we're gonna have some time for questions at the end. So I'm now going to hand over to Miss O'Sullivan, who's going to talk to you about academic life here at Barclay Academy. Good evening, everyone. Um, I would like to echo Dr Laban's warm welcome. I'm really looking forward to seeing you all as soon as possible. Here at Barclay Academy, we have the highest expectations of our students. We have an ambitious, rigorous academic curriculum, which includes the opportunity for all students to learn Latin alongside the traditional academic subjects. Art, music, physical education and drama are also highly valued parts of our curriculum, as well as crucial parts of our extracurricular programme, which I know that Mrs Broderick is going to talk to you about in a moment. Our curriculum is knowledge rich and we strongly believe that every student has a right to an education that exposes them to the very best things that have been thought and said. Knowledge is powerful and empowering and allows us to improve the life chances of all of our children. Knowledge will excite their imaginations and allow them to challenge misconceptions. We have, as Dr Laban says, a fantastic and enthusiastic staff who are passionate about their subjects and ensuring that all students can access the curriculum and excel. Now, unfortunately, we haven't had the chance to show you around the school, but I'd like to tell you what you would see if you came around during a normal school day. You would see calm and purposeful learning taking place and also the joy and engagement that is palpable in all of our classrooms. Having spoken to lots of year six parents over the last week or so, one of the themes emerging is a concern about whether their child is behind, has lost learning, etc. Please do not worry about this. 
we have everything in place to ensure that we get to know your child academically and we have the excellent curriculum and strong subject specialist staff to ensure that students will be supported and challenged to make excellent progress. We are delighted that we'll be welcoming you in September and hopefully we will see you before then as well. OK, I'm going to hand over to Mrs Charwood, who's going to talk about pastoral life at the Academy. Good evening, families and welcome. At Barclay Academy, we take pride in an environment that facilitates the highest expectations of behaviour, attendance, participation and learning. We recognise that each student is an individual and we endeavour to protect their welfare and provide the support they need to flourish and succeed. We are proud of our knowledge rich curriculum, but we recognise that academic development is not the sole aim of school and that without supportive networks and pastoral care systems in place, our students learning would be compromised. We therefore have the highest standards of behaviour, attendance and participation for our students because having such standards creates an environment in which students are ready and best able to learn. Creating an environment where every student is valued and able to flourish and given the confidence to know they can achieve is at the heart of Barclay Academy. We believe care and support are fundamental to students achieving their best. We are experts in understanding the challenges students face as they grow up. We understand their needs, their friendship dynamics and their ambitions. Our pastoral system is devised to support and empower students to encourage confidence and self-esteem. Driven by our principles and high standards of behaviour, attendance and punctuality, we place an emphasis on respecting and valuing every individual. Our pastoral system also promotes student leadership, participation, community awareness and charity work through tutorials and assemblies. Whilst being central to the home school partnership. It is not just the staff who care but all of our students show great kindness and compassion for one another. This is what makes Barclay Academy very special indeed. Let me tell you about transition and our pastoral structures. Moving from primary school to secondary school is a momentous occasion for any child. Here at Barclay Academy, our aim is to make this transition as smooth and supported as possible. We run a variety of different events, including visits to Barclay, and visits to the primary school. In July, students will attend for a full day as part of the county-wide transition day. During this day, students will have a special transition assembly with Dr Laban and Ms Corcoran, meet their new form tutor, have academic taster sessions and be put on a tour of the school. They will experience break time and lunch time in the Barclay Bistro. Then in the afternoon, all students take part in further activities. The aim of this day is to establish routines and expectations and to diffuse any anxiety or worries which students may have. All students are allocated a tutor group and a tutor. In September, we host a settling in event where parents will have the opportunity to meet their child's tutor and head of year. The tutor team is supported by non-teaching heads of year and director of key stages. We have a fantastic wider team which supports the work of the tutor, teachers and heads of year. Our Student Development Centre provides support for students with additional needs, be these learning, social, emotional or medical. It is led by Mrs Smith Alsenko. Should your child have any additional needs, Mrs Smith and her team will be working closely with you and the primary school to ensure a tr smooth transition to Barclay. We are very fortunate to have a school counsellor and emotional wellbeing lead who further supports the work of our pastoral team. Barclay is a warm and caring school. Nothing matters more than ensuring a smooth transition for our year six students into the Barclay community. We look forward to working with our families over the coming months and working together on the next stage of your child's school journey. I'm now going to hand over to Mrs Bodrick, 
who's going to tell you about co-curricular life here at Barclay. Good evening and a warm welcome to you all. While academic success is key to helping our students lead successful, fulfilling lives, it's only one part of the picture. At Barclay, we offer an outstanding co-curricular programme that will allow your child to develop their interests and passions. Our co-curricular programme is connected to four areas. Firstly, future education, the world of work and employment. Throughout their school lives, we will be encouraging students to aspire to be the best they can be. Students will have numerous opportunities to explore the best of higher education and university, apprenticeships and the world of work. Barclay is in the unusual position of having their own full-time careers and enrichment coordinator. Our students take part in many careers related events such as university trips, work experience, careers fairs and careers interviews. Secondly, enriching the curriculum. Our enrichment programme complements our knowledge rich curriculum, bringing learning to life. This includes subject specific field trips, for example, science and geography trip to the Natural History Museum, history trips to Berlin and the World War I battlefields in Belgium, Latin and English trips to Rome, as well as a whole host of after school clubs, guest speakers, competitions and workshops. Thirdly, access to culture, arts and sports is foundational to a well-rounded and exceptional education. Our students have access to a wide range of sporting and artistic activities. After school sports include football, netball, rugby, athletics and hockey. We also run the Duke of Edinburgh Awards scheme. Students in year seven will have the opportunity to take instrumental lessons. We also run an orchestra, a choir and dance and musical productions. Outside of school, students have the opportunity to visit art galleries, museums and the theatre and sporting venues. Examples of these include trips to watch England play football at Wembley, Shakespeare productions at the Globe Theatre and darks workshops at Sadler's Wells. Finally, character, integrity and judgment. We believe that these core skills will enable our students to succeed both at school in their future academic, professional and social endeavours. To help our young people develop these skills, we provide a multitude of opportunities in addition to their PSHE lessons, including safety and wellbeing workshops, charitable work and fundraising, social awareness and volunteering. We want our students to be able to aspire to being the best that they can be so that they are able to become well-rounded, thoughtful, healthy citizens and follow a career path that leads to a happy, healthy and fulfilling life. Thank you very much, Mrs. Broderick. Well, this is obviously very strange. Usually I'd have a hall full of all of you, 200 people sitting in front of me and instead I'm looking at a camera. Um, but I hope that has given you a flavour of what Barclay Academy is all about and the sorts of things that we offer. Um, we've now got a question and answer session. Um, we did all um, ask for some questions to be submitted in advance. Um, hopefully some of those questions we've answered in our presentations because I notice here there's one about extracurricular activities and Mrs Broderick's just covered that. Um, there's a question about transition and Mrs Charwood has covered um, what our transition programme looks like. So I'm just going to pick out a few here that I don't think we've covered yet and then there'll be an opportunity for you to ask some questions I think on a chat function that we've got which you can do and then hopefully we can answer those questions as well. So the first question that lots of people have asked is regarding Ofsted. Now, the, as you know, Barclay is an academy now, it's classed as a brand new school, um, so we're expecting an Ofsted inspection. Um, we would probably have had one about now or, or in, this, in the summer term, um, but because as you know, with the pandemic and lockdowns, everything's been delayed, so we might not now have an Ofsted inspection until next year. But I'm confident, I mentioned earlier that this school has been on a journey of rapid school improvement. I know, um, I've been a head teacher of other schools, so I know that behaviour has improved markedly here. It's much, much better than it ever was. Very strong behaviour here. 
and the teaching and learning has really improved and it's now of a high standard. So I feel far more confident going into an Ofsted inspection and I know that we'll get a successful outcome from that. Um, another question we've had in advance, um, and I might field this to Mrs Charlwood, um, are we able to be in the same class as a friend who we already go to primary school with? What a great question. Yes, thank you. Um, as part of the transition programme, we will work with you and we will have conversations with you and you'll be able to tell us about yourself and who your friends are. And we will endeavour to make sure that there is somebody in your tutor group that you do know from primary school. Now, of course, some of you might be coming from a primary school where you are the only child coming from that primary school, in which case we will invite all our singletons in prior and you will get to meet all the other children that are in the same position as you, one child from a primary school, so that you get to know other children, so that you'll have somebody in your tutor group that you will know prior to starting in September. Thank you very much. Um, another question we've had, which I think Mrs Broderick's best place to answer. How many students from our sixth form go on to university? This year we expect 95% of our sixth formers to go on to university. And I know that lots of them have applied for some really good universities, Russell Group universities. Yeah, lots they? of them have applied to universities like King's College London, Nottingham. Um, so lots of students apply to prestigious Russell universities. So we encourage them to do that. Thank you very much. Um, <clears throat> I know the answer to this one. Do we have a girls football team? Well, the answer is yes. Um, we've always had a girls football team and we'll be getting that back up and running now that schools have returned today. And hopefully even more restrictions will be lifted soon and we can do that as we always have done. So the answer is yes. Um, and then what time does school open for students in the morning? And the answer to that is eight o'clock. Um, and they come in between 8 and 8.25. The bell goes at 8.25. They line up and then come in for their first lesson at half past eight in the morning. OK, um, those are the questions that we've had in. Have we had any online? The one, um, do you inspect children by ability? Oh, that's Miss O'Sullivan's expertise. Mm -hmm. Yes, we do set children by ability, not for all subjects and not straight away in year seven. So we'll keep them in uh, consistent classes initially in year seven. Um, but we do set viability for English, maths and science, different stages throughout the school. And we don't apologise for this. I think this is very important to ensure that the um, top students are stretched academically and the students who need extra support are able to, to get that. Thank you very much. Um, so that you should have a slide up with a quote from the famous Greek philosopher Aristotle uh, and he Aristotle and he says we are what we repeatedly do excellence then is not an act but a habit and I hope very much so that that's what we're all about here at Berkeley Academy and we're, what we've got to offer your children because we want them to come here and get an excellent education. So there are three things that I want you to take away from tonight's welcome event. Um, we apologise that we couldn't do a, a one where you come in and, and see the school. Obviously, you know the reason why that is. But I want you to know, first and foremost, that Berkeley Academy is a warm and caring school that wants your child to be happy and supported. That's really, really important. Secondly, as I've just said, we offer an excellent education that's taught by an excellent and dedicated team of expert teachers. And lastly, we offer an outstanding range of uh, extracurricular activities, as Mrs Broderick outlined, so that students, your children, have the opportunities to excel in sport, art, drama, music and anything else that takes their interest. So this year we've had more allocations than we've got spaces at this school. So do please guarantee your child's space if you haven't done so already by accepting online and completing the application pack. We all of us, as we've said, look forward to seeing you and welcoming you in September. So lastly, there should be a slide with our contact details. Please do get in touch with us if you've got any more questions following on from tonight's presentations. 
Uh, if anything else has risen from what you've heard and seen, please do get in touch, either phone the school or give, send an email. Um, and please, if you'd like to book a tour, then get in touch, book a time. And we'd be more than happy to show you around this wonderful school. So as I said, I hope that gave you a flavour of what we're all about. We're really looking forward to seeing you. Please do book a tour if you'd like one. Enjoy the rest of your evening and we look forward to seeing you soon. Take care. <laughs>